72. Laura, welcome to the program. Oh, hi. Um, Dr. Hi. Laura. <laughs> hi. Um, hi. I wanted to chat with you. Um, I ha- I'm in my 40s and my parents are in their 70s and I have two siblings. Um, and over the years, I've just been building some resentment towards my parents. Um, and it kind About of what? came up again. About what? Well, um, just kind of the financial kind of support that he they give my siblings and it it's not equitable for my family um and I, why do you think it's different for each child so tell me about each child and what you think they get and what you think they should get so let's just go through the top start with the oldest go ahead okay, tell me about that brother. sibling and tell me about uh, the money okay he is 18 months older than I am. We were raised pretty much at the same time. Um, he's um, never really had a career, so to speak. Never really had a long-standing job. Certainly doesn't have any savings for um, retirement. And lives on a property that my parents own under their name. Um, is this a big source of resentment for you? It's hard for me because I am... Can I just have a yes resentment. or a no? Because you came on using the word resentment. So, so far, this yeah, description, is. is this yeah. something you resent? Okay, I have the solution for you. Please. Become a loser. Oh my God, I knew you were going to say this. <sighs> yep. Parents, okay. look at their three, four, five kids. Kids are doing well, they're relieved. Kids are really screwed up, they're panicked. So they tend to keep trying to buff up the loser. So, of course, it's inequitable because you're not a loser. They're in desperation, trying to keep him from being dead in the street. And it's embarrassing. And they think if they keep helping, it'll get better. Very typical mistake, essentially, mothers make, not so much the dads. But the dads go along with it because men in marriages sort of go along with their wives. So, anyway... Uh, so the reason it's inequitable is you're not a loser. And I'm sorry, and I think you should be resentful of that. But it's purposeless okay. because it's not intentional against you. It's actually a freaking yeah. compliment. <laughs> and that's what, and I understand that. I think what I'm struggling with right now is that I have teenage kids and so does my sister. And I'm starting to see the inequality there as well. And we discovered um, why there was an inequality with your brother now tell me why knowing your sister and all her circumstances why there's an inequity there so i would just describe her as being um um emotionally and mentally not strong so she has a job she's an rn she does extremely well she's bright but she is mentally fragile and that has always been something my parents... Okay, I I'm it, sorry. Of. You're not mentally fragile no. and you're not a loser. Gosh darn it, woman. If you had only picked one of their lifestyles. Now, if you, separate from them, because you have to stop your resentment because it's not personal. Yes. So you have to just dump that. It's irrelevant okay. being resentful. But if you'd like okay. some help with your kids, with education, with sports activities, because they're so expensive, and all of this, then you can go to your parents and say nothing about what they do for the other two and say, uh, it's a little embarrassing for me to be asking for some assistance. Don't yeah. mention your siblings, but I could really use blank for my kids for their sports. Would that be something that okay. you think you'd like to contribute to? You just ask. Okay, and that's, I think that's, that's so helpful because that's what I was battling with today, driving. Okay. I, I, I feel that, yeah, and so thank you because that's what I'd like to do and just keep it kind of unemotional and not touch on the other things, but I didn't know if that was going to just be dipping my toe in a world that I shouldn't be dipping in because I, I don't want no, to feel No, as like long as you don't well. talk about your siblings, okay. not mention even as an aside because that will backfire. Because they will start defending what they're doing. And there is no defense for what they're doing other than they're panicked no. <laughs> and are rescuing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, can I just tell you something? Yes. You. Oh, my God. <sighs> you mean so much to me. I can't even explain to you. 
you were in my head all the time. I listened to you all the time. You were one of the most major influences in my life, and I just need you to know that. Well, I'm very touched by you saying that. Thank you. And I hope I'll always live up to your expectation and need. Okay? I joked with my husband the other day that so I have a dog that I love beyond beyond, and I have you that I love beyond beyond, and I said it would be a real toss-up if someone said which one could live forever. I said, gosh, that would be tricky. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Because <laughs> my dog could uh, hear me, I'm sure, and I was... Really yes, yeah, don't let him he hear. <laughs> oh, you're sweet. You, lots of hugs, sweetheart. I, thank you. I just think the world of you. Thank you, and I appreciate that I could help you today. Okay, we're taking the top of the hour break. That's very touching. Taking the top of the hour break, and then we'll come back with your calls. My number, 1-800-375-2872. During the break is the best time to talk to B and Dan, so let it rip. Now go do the right thing.